Water is one of the scarcest commodities in South Africa. We are a fairly dry country and we have to look after our water very well. Now, Governor Becky has been suffering with water issues for a very long time. We had Thistle Grove staging protests and a big meeting afterwards to sort out their water problems. Bethel has been ongoing for a very long time as well. Last year they, they started, some of the houses didn't get water and up to now they don't have a regular flow of water. So, thank you. I'm Enzo van Eistien. Thank you for watching the bulletin with me. This is the reservoirs next to Adulam. This is reservoir number two and you can hear the noise down there. That one on the other side is reservoir number one. And the noise that is going on here is an overflow from this reservoir of fresh water flowing out into a stream all the way down to a small dam which was fairly empty about two months ago. That is now overflowing right into the Trichard Sprayt at the bottom. Now we have to ask ourselves, why do we have this kind of water flowing freely from here on onwards? Who's paying for this? Uh, why are we not stopping this? Because we desperately need water in this municipality. And the problem here is, there's no one here. There's no one here to pick this up. If I had not been alerted to this, I don't think I would have ever have picked this up. And as you can hear, the noise is deafening from there. I bent over there a little while ago and it smelled like a swimming pool with all the water spray coming up. This is truly, truly saddening to think this is the amount of water and then we have the municipality that stands up and says rand water is not pumping enough rand water this and rand water that while we are wasting water in streams into the and fresh water into the water system here i do think that we need to take this up i do think that we need to get this fixed as soon as possible and somebody has to be held accountable for this mess that is here. This mess, I say this mess because should they not stop the water? Should they not have an overflow valve? Should they not, there's a number of things that could go wrong. But the fact of the matter is, whatever could go wrong, did go wrong, and the water is flowing out. And there's no stopping of this. Apparently, a while ago, the other reservoir was overflowing. There's a nice stream going down, it's dry at the moment, but you can see there's green things throwing, growing in there, a little bit of papyrus, a little bit of grass and everything in that. So that was flowing a little while ago, but now it seems like it's number two's turn. Number two for flowing water out here. This is unacceptable. We cannot go on like this. We cannot let people struggle with water. We cannot let Bethel keep on not having water. We cannot let um, Thistle Grove not having water. Embalentle is struggling with water as well. And here is proof of where a lot of our water is going from, or going away from. And we need to do something about this. What? I don't know, but we need to hold somebody accountable for this wastage that is here. Millions and millions of water is going out here. You can see on the video that I'm adding. It's a lot of water. Water is flowing very strong. What do we need to do? We need to hold somebody accountable. I'm not sure that the um, municipality will give us any answers on this one. I will ask them, but I'm going to place this without waiting for them because they need to see what they are doing. Thank you for watching the bulletin. Unfortunately, sometimes with a bearer of bad news, this is very bad news. I'm appalled with this. Let's see what happens. Thanks.